Hi, it's Boo or Tom, and I'm going to be making a little character in Blender. I've already got the foundations down. Um, to explain just what I have done, I've just made a single vertices and applied a, um, a skin modifier and extruded each vertices until I got these shapes. Um, so all the modifiers have already been applied and uh, now I'm going to get cracking on with uh, getting the character actually done.
Okay, so the primary build of the model is now finished. And there might be some more detailing to add, but this is going to be like a cartoonish character, so I don't want to go too nuts with it. I uh, want to keep quite low poly as well. Um, because if I add another subdivision subsurface, uh, the poly count is going to go ridiculously high. And there's not much really different, so I don't I don't think we'll uh, we'll do that. Not much not much difference really. Um, so usually I would then do the armature, and final step would be to do the UV map. But I'm going to do it the other way around this time to just see how it goes. And uh, I'll do some explaining of the model making process when it's finished. <laughs> Well, the uh, model texture uh, kind of <laughs> looks a little bit less cartoony than I was hoping. I mean, I, I couldn't help myself. I really do like to play around with the subsurf, uh, subsurface modifiers and the uh, materials. Um, so it's some kind of weird 
mangle between a cartoon triceratops with semi uh for realistic um like material textures not necessarily the, te the base texture um but all that's left to do is to put it uh, into an armature and um, play around with some animations. Um, so that's all the weight painting and armature work done. The model uh, as a whole is um, complete for this type of project. I mean, I'd normally spend a lot longer on adding a bit more detail to it in places and uh, maybe, you know, and refining the proportions a bit better because this is meant to be like not an accurate Triceratops, it's meant to be a cartoon stylized one, but even then I'm still not 100% happy with it. I'll probably work a bit more on this um, away from the recordings I've made. Um, the videos that I recorded uh, doing the weight painting blender crashed twice. Uh, it is notorious for doing that. So uh, whilst um, it was crashed I decided right I'm going to just finish the model off a, a little bit so I made him a little bit fatter uh, because as you'll see 
Um, well, not with a tail. This is the idle pose. He suddenly gets really fat here. It, because of the way I've done the armature, I decided I'll do a very simple armature, so there's no uh, hip joints here, there's no uh, shoulder joints here, there normally would be when I do an armature, but this was a quick one that I wanted to do. So um, the body is uh, partially rigged to the arms, so that's why he somehow miraculously gets uh, thinner when he walks like this. So if I take his uh, arm here and move it, the body gets a little bit chubbier because it's it's rigged to the uh, the arm. Uh, I'll be working a bit more on this off off the uh, camera. Um, but yeah, was I was going to do some animations um, to go with this video, but instead I'm just going to do a quick little mangle like this, where you can see all the movement in the in this side, um, and the, that it correlates with what I'm moving on the here on the bones. And I decided, oh, I'll make each toe rigged independently as well, so you can uh, have a very very strange looking. Uh, paw pose here or foot pose <laughs> so so yeah you can you can really have um have fun just messing around with the models in blender um, i'm not doing anything in particular here i'm just messing around with the bones at the moment so even on the back toes uh, they're slightly different so <laughs> you can have a very very painful looking walk there let me just Move these up a bit. So, and even the tail, which I've put very low for some reason, which is linked to the pelvis. Unfortunately, I need to fix that in the final model. And we can just make the tail go whoop, like this. Looks a little bit happy. It's very strange looking, but it's um it's just an example of how these this model's rigged uh, and the possibilities you have. So we can rotate his head sideways. I'm not using my original mouse, by the way. My original mouse is broken, so that's why I'm having a lot of misclicks. mess with the eyes a bit. This is where things go a little bit wonky. This takes me the longest to do is, uh, is eye eyelids. So we can make him close his eye or look quite annoyed or really really alert. We'll just leave him normal but we'll move the eyeball just a little bit. So you can be looking away, or looking this way, or uh, down, or up. But we'll uh, we'll have him looking this way. And I usually don't add eyebrows, but I thought I'd give it a go with this one. It doesn't really show much. I mean, it's rigged for some reason. It rigged the uh, the frill, even though I've done the weight painting. So I'll have to look at that again. But yeah, this is this is how I usually do my models in Blender. I mean, this was a very, very quick model. It usually takes me two to three days to do my models. This one was done within a day, about five, six hours, which isn't too bad for how quick it was. Um, but we'll just open his mouth a little bit. Make him look a little bit happy. There we go. And uh, then in the render screen, that's the final textured effect that the model would have. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to see me do more of these types of videos, please remember to uh, leave a comment or a like and uh, subscribe for more models and um, creative projects. I'll catch you in the next one. Try.